guys, um, I know I haven't made a video in a pretty long time, so I'm just going to do a major update on everything. So, here's my centipede. Um, Squirrel Tender, probably Martha, Giant Desert Centipede, Snorri Centipede, whatever you want to call it. It's doing, it's doing pretty, pretty well. Um, it's going to molt soon, probably, because... The color is really dull. I was eating for a while and then it just really kind of stopped. But it's probably going to molt soon. It still explores everywhere though. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I don't think I showed you guys this, but this is a daring jumping spider. It's pretty small. Um, but yeah, it's a new addition, I guess. It moves around a lot, so. Okay, so this is my yellow sack spiders, the uh, bigger one. Um, moved it into this container. You guys might not be able to see. Oh, it's right there. Kind of hard to see, but you could sort of see the outline. Um, it molted. Uh, I think yesterday. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's still pretty fresh. So I haven't been bothering it or anything or feeding it. And this is my Apache jumping spider. Female. Probably an adult. Uh, she's really big. She molted a while ago. Um... It's really fat now. It really eats everything I put in the little terrarium first. This is another yellow sack spider. Pretty sure it's a male. No, it is male. Um, this also molted, but it molted a long time ago. Um, yeah, it just wanders around the enclosure a lot. And these are my two warrior beetles, so. We'll start with the male. At least I'm pretty sure it's a male. Could be wrong. Um, it's hiding in the dirt. The eco is somewhere. Oh, there it is. Oh, this one likes to bite. doing really good um yeah this one's the more aggressive one this one has sharper mandibles um pretty sure this one's a female even though this one's a, a lot smaller this one actually bit me before yeah it has a sharper mandibles it's always hungry but I'm just going to put it back. This is Lucy. Um, she is in there. Uh, it's always hard to see her, but she's right there. Um, she's still doing fine. Had her for uh, a little over a year now. Got her last July. October, so uh, I've had her for quite a long time. Oh, she moved up there, right there. Yep, yeah, there she is. This is my Brachypoma Vagans Mexican Red Rump. Uh, and here's her her burrow. Hoping it's a her. Does live a lot longer. Oh. See if she can come out, and I think she's hungry. Right there. Really beautiful spider. Uh, let's see if I can feed her. Alright, so I got my mealworm here. Um, so, I'm gonna drop it in. Mealworm 
is down there. No, she is hungry. Oh, never mind. Mm, she's hungry. Hurry. <laughs> it. Yeah, whatever. I still haven't named it. I don't know. I don't know what to call it. Wait until I sex it. But yeah, that's my tarantula. Um, this is probably the most exciting one in my opinion of my Teresa's an ensis, giant desert hairy scorpion. Um, it has dug a burrow. And it has been in this world for about a month, probably. Oh. Um, it's in, yeah, it's inside of there. Uh, what the structure does is it goes down, say, from the burrow, then it goes straight down to about right here, and it curves under these rocks, and I think that's as far as far as it goes. So it probably ends right there. Um, substrate is sort of deep, and it has a pretty good clay figure in it if it's dug rightly. With my finger, it's not probably going to be dug as well, but, um, before it was not really eating as well, and, uh, yeah, it wasn't eating that as well, and then after it dug its burrow, um, it started to eat a lot more, so, that's an improvement. Um, an update that is gonna happen pretty soon is, um, a scorpion is in a 10 gallon aquarium. Uh, so, I might divide it right here, like right in the middle, and, uh, this is going to be my Hydrace Arizonensis side, and then over here, there's going to be Arizona Bark Scorpions, um, because I'm probably going to have some soon, I'm going to go make a trip to Arizona. <clears throat> um, and I also might get a Golden Huntsman Spider. And speaking of the golden hunt spider, I have its enclosure set up right here, so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get it. Um, I'm saving up money, up money to um, get one. Uh, I also might get an animal pigeon, like a um, tail whip scorpion, um, a desert one from Arizona, and this probably may look. Kind of funny because it is a cotton candy container and cotton candies in it. Um, well, cotton candy used to be in it. We just had it in our pantry. Uh, probably gonna have. Whoops. Uh, I will. Well, I'm probably gonna get striped tail scorpions and put them in here. They are. They can be communal. Or whatever. Whatever else I find in here. Superstition Mountain Scorpions. It doesn't really matter. Uh, but, yeah, so that's pretty much my update on everything. But, yeah, I really don't have anything else. I haven't been making that much videos because I don't really have anything to videotape, but all of my um, animals are either in Primo or. Um, oh yeah, that's about it. Or they're like, going into hibernation or whatever. I don't know, I keep my room pretty warm anyways. But, yeah, that's about it. Um, comment and subscribe and like. Thank you.